influence at that time was a ska band. You know what I'm saying? What? It's not like, yeah, it ain't rock uh, or punk. It's kind of like in, in my way around and then she wait around. Yo, but what she wait around for? Uh, for me to come rocking the boat. They can try and bottle water. Ain't no top in the flow. Yeah. Everything they see, sick. Too much more. Yeah. Stop fucking around and be a man. Yeah, yeah. So ain't yeah. nothing out here for you. Yeah. Tones, y'all, broken glass everywhere, and I got my brother, my man, Legacy. What up, what up? Hey, Legacy, what's up, brother? How you doing, man? It's a blessing to be here, man, and shit, I'm just happy all around. Blessings all around. It's a new year, yes. 2016, and we coming for y'all. We coming now, to spread love. Hold on one second. Do. Somebody calling my phone. Hello. Yo, yo, all line. Onesla? Yeah, 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 I was, I was, I was recording doing auto tunes real quick. <laughs> Big I'm things popping. I'm coming right back. <laughs> alright, alright, bless. Yo, back, man. It's my boy Nelson. So, matter of fact, he's on that creative disruption feature. Nelson hit me with that reggae verse. But yeah, Legacy, man, um, it's 2016. And um, the first time I met you was at the Breast Cancer Awareness. And you told me something that really touched me. You said that Word. you used to be a battle rapper, but now you battling rap, using rap to battle different things. Talk to me about that a little bit. Word, word. Well, um, yeah, man, you know, I, I started off as a battle MC, and originally I just wanted to get my, my lyrics out there, so I always knew I could write. You know, that, that came second nature to me. I, I always knew I could write, but when it came down to, like, hip-hop and, like, real competitive, you know... It's, it's, it comes with the territory, so, right. you know, it ended up starting out, somebody called me out, you know, like, oh, what's up, Dan, let's battle. I'm thinking, all right, you know, let's do it, but I'm not really about that, but let's do it. So then, you know, I got into the battle scene for a while, and it was kind of like I knew I was good at it. I got recognition, you know, to right. the max. Like, yo, people was feeling me. People was feeling what I said. Every bar would hit. You know, I was meticulous with, with with my words. So then it came to a point where just a lot of politics involved, you know, a lot of just a lot of unnecessary shit ended up happening with, with the battle scene. So I was like, I started looking to other venues and um, it actually popped off with with my homegirl. Um, they actually do open mics every Thursday here in Miami. It's called Artistic Vibes. Yeah. And, yeah, um, you know what I'm saying? Shout outs to Steph V, you know what I'm saying? Quills, um, you know, everybody out there, the AV fam, um, you know, they do an annual breast cancer, um, show. So they ended up inviting me to the first one. I believe it was, I'm pretty sure it was the first one. And I was like, I, right, you know, um, so I'm going to do my thing. You know, they, they expected me to go and to do like a, whatever, spoken oh, word, whatever, yeah. poem, whatever. But I went there with the intention, like if this is a breast cancer awareness, um, show, then let me use my skills to really like let them be aware. Exactly, uh. you know. And then, and then from there, it just birthed a whole, a whole like you know, pretty much me, you know, because yeah. um, because you got something classic going on right now with the fifty-two bars. Yeah. And yeah. Um, fifty-two bars of straight bars, first of all, and also edutainment. Yeah. Like you're, you're like you did one on breast cancer and then the second one you did was the um Oh it was um the the second one I did was abuse of authority. Abuse of authority, the, right. The, the video I came out with was That abuse was of dope, authority. man. You feel me? Right. But the but the actual second one that I did uh, uh, like on wax that I that I released, you know, on SoundCloud was autism. The awareness. autism. And that you one know, let's yeah. talk about that one right there and why you chose to do that one. Well yeah, you know, um actually my nephew, you know, um He's autistic, and I got a lot of love for him, you know, shout out uh, to Connie, you know what I'm saying, George, and, um, yo, like, he, you know what I'm saying, every time I would be around him, he would, like, he would inspire me, you know, just, wow. you know what I'm saying, He's he was just, like, the coolest little kid ever, you feel right. me, so, you know, when I found out that, 
I started I started researching, I started mm. writing about, you know, this so-called condition and, you know, how people look at it because there's a stigma towards right. it. Right. Like, you know, like, you know like, um, my child's autistic and this and that. Like, it's sort of like... A defect. It, like, yeah, yeah, like, and, and, and the more I researched about it, the more I looked into it, like, I knew all along it wasn't that, but I had to, like, make sure. And, and once I found out that it was just so much more than just the label, I had to let people know. I had to let people know that, yo, if it, it like, you know what I'm saying? If you if you have a kid that, that falls into the spectrum of being autistic, you know, you have a gifted child. Right. You have a blessing right there. Cha-ching! Yeah, so yes. it's like... You know, Nurturing. and that, that struck me. That's right. that struck a nerve. You know, including you know my nephew. You know, it's just like it, I had to let it. I had to let it. I had to let it be. I had to I had to let it be known in the world that there's so something so much right. greater than what they're making you think. You know, and that's what a lot of my 52 bars like. A lot of the, a lot of the shit is like not only awareness. It's What's to make you. It's it's to make you understand really what it is. Right. You know, because. You hear about saying you got your own thoughts about it, you know, because of whatever. But my whole mission is to make you really think about it. Now let's witness this. Let's let's really analyze this from every type of angle, right. and let's see this for exactly what it is, not what we're meant to believe right. it is. You know, so Ooh. that's you know what I'm saying. I mean, I feel so like like what goes into research. When you reach research, research or something like that. Well, um, you know, what I'm saying some of it is is actual, you know, um, like you know, hands on. Mm. I'm I'm with I'm with the person. Like as far as uh my breast uh the breast cancer, 52 bars of breast cancer awareness. And you know, my aunt has mm. breast cancer. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, God bless. You feel me? Um, she she fought it. She she you know what I'm saying? Mm. She went through it. But you know that's always something. It's it, it's just it's just a lot of it's just a lot of shit, and you feel me. And it's a lot of emotion that goes into it. Right. So, you know, like I try to I try to do as much research I can. You know, talk to 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 people in the medical industry. You know, talk to parents, talk to wow. family members, dope, everybody dope. involved. So you learn at the same time. Yeah, exactly. So, as I'm learning, I'm teaching. Right. So it's it's Ooh, something. Teacher and student. Yeah, you feel <laughs> me. Let me ask you this though. Um, when did when did the, like the hip hop or the or, or the rhyme spitting came into your life that you say you know what I can do this man you know what I mean, and and, and why do you because you're very exceptional with your words you take that like, like very serious with your um with your bar your, your word playing your bars like when did the hip hop come into your life and what made you feel like you know what I can do this? Well, well, like I said, I was always really good with words when when it kind of transitioned to hip hop. It was, um, it was probably, shit, I'm gonna say, like, maybe eighth grade going into ninth grade. Who was you banging then? Who, who, who was what? Who was you listening to then? Man, if I, let, let's see, um, I think, I think when I, who I was listening to then, you probably wouldn't even believe me. It's crazy because the way I spit, you would think I'd be influenced by, like, yeah. you know, That's but. That's you don't realize, though. It's like the my my biggest influence at that time was a ska band. You know what I'm saying? What? It's not like yeah, it ain't rock oh, or punk. It's kind of like in, in, in between. between, like a ska band called Sublime. Sublime! Oh! <laughs> hey, oh, you gonna say hey. love it? Yeah, it's what, what I, I got. I said remember that. Hey, love, hey. That's, that's real. My joy. You feel me? And, oh, and you that kind of shit. yeah. That that's like uh you know a mix of everything, yeah, like reggae, 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 you know, um, uh, rock, Kiss, one, yeah, rap, all that, that man. man, all that. They, so they it's got just, it, man. The boy, they beats was You sick. feel me? And that kind of inspired me yeah, to like, yeah, man. It, it kind of opened up a uh, a dimension. Like, man, I could I could do that. Like, not that I could do it, but it was just like, man, that's a that's possibility. Awesome. Right. Like, can. it can be done. You feel me? So I remember, me, I remember, like <laughs> in the. In that like summer, um, going to eighth to ninth, I was chilling with my boy, um, Joe. You know what I'm saying? Touch Benjamin, shout out. You feel me? Um, he does beats and all that. But me and him were just vibing, chilling one day, and I don't know how it really started. If it was him or me, someone started laying down a beatbox without even knowing that they were beatboxing, <laughs> and then the other the it, other man. one started spitting. And it was crazy, and then right. went back and forth like that. It was it was the craziest. Wow. It was the craziest thing, and ever since then, I I really I really never looked back, and I just pursued it because I was so good at it, you know. Right. And it was 
You know, yeah, I used to write, too, yeah, you know, it was like an expression of emotion and you know, that's that's what I feel hip hop is. It's it's sort of like your outlet to speak to the world and right. to speak what you what you're feeling at that time. It could be anything. You use your emotion as, you know, as as fuel. So you're fueled by that so you could like really tap into something that is spiritual almost, right. you know? Mm, right, right, so, right, right, right. So it's dope. I mean, yeah. that that's that's how I really got mm. into it and then, so, you know, um, so talk about uh, you know, and you got a cool nation of dope and you also got smoking mirrors with the boy. Oh yeah, NFA. yeah. That's, just, you just told me that Emmett and the in the same damn group. That's, that's my that's brother, right beastin', man. I'm in the face. I see, <laughs> babe, man. You and him on the track. Oh my god. Yo, he, I yo, can't believe that, man. Yo, hey, you already know, that's man. Disgusting. Me and him on the track is just is that's too just, much. Man. It's almost too much Shit. for the world to to you know what I'm saying know, to okay, handle. To <laughs> wow. But um, but yeah, and the face actually. The dude that I've known the longest, wow. you know, in both crews, you know, and even even before there was crews, it was me and NFA, you feel me, chilling like, I uh, should I met him in like seventh grade before I started rapping. He wow. was rapping before me, wow. you know what I'm saying? So yeah, he's sick with it too. Well, of course, yeah. that's that's I love right there. That you know what I'm saying? That's track, man. I can't believe I'm the fucking group making songs. He can do it all. He can do it all. Like yeah. so. It's, it's it's mm. really dope um that 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 even came to play because i it was it's just a crazy story like because i i ended up meeting his cousin you know what i'm saying we're borderline cousins yeah. so like he told me yo i know this chico you gotta see me in hialeah and i was like yo word i'm from hialeah this and that ended up being nfa oh, wow. like yo we've been on each yeah. other so it's crazy yeah. so we got together he introduced me to orion shout outs to orion you feel me um and then that was the whole smoke and mirrors click. But at the same time, I'm chilling with my boys down south. We talking about like you know um, homestead area. Yeah, yeah. Shout um, out homestead. I'm chilling with I'm chilling with um, you know my homeboy resin. Shout outs to yeah. resin, demonic, misc, and these are the dudes that I actually battled with. So right, okay. you know if you really go back, you know you are gonna see, see all of us pretty much taking over the battle mm -hmm. scene. It was kind of like everybody else against us right you know it was it was kind of it was kind of crazy but we would always show up and we would we would you know what i'm Much. saying take that w yeah. it, was, it was real crazy um at that time and and i actually love it i feel nostal nostalgic about that shit because you know we really did our thing and it was about bars you feel me right. it wasn't about you know uh whatever beef bullshit yeah, you know, was going on at that bars. point it was about bars you know so we kept it 100 on that aspect um, but but yeah, man, that's Nation on Dope and Smoke and Mirrors, and I was the common denominator of those two crews. Right. So it came to a point where you know I had to merge both right. worlds. Oh, nice. And then when it came to that, spirits. yeah, when it came to that, it was just a, a rhyme fest, homie. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, so but you're you're, you're actually able to um to spit bars, but you're also able to put songs together. Like, oh, what's yeah. the difference? Between when you're putting a uh, battle rap together and when you're writing a song, like what difference you go through your mind? Well, um, when I'm making a song, the thing is when I'm making a song, it really comes from the heart. Like, it's very emotion felt. Like, I'm putting my soul into this. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm putting my soul into that song. And you could feel the pain. You could feel the joy. You could feel the anger. You could feel all these emotions going through it. While I, you know, when I spit, when I'm spitting bars, it's the typical MC. Yeah. I'ma let my nuts hang, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, for the, feel, feel, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but man, it's just like yeah. it is. It is what it is. It comes with the territory. You you gonna be on the microphone and, you, and you're actually, it's like a, a, a bravado or whatever. Yeah. You're like you know you strutting, you you stunting. It's like flowing. yeah, you yeah. feel me? I'm grabbing the mic. This is my territory and you know that's what it is when i'm when i'm putting together bars as far as that aspect bars bars like yeah but when it's a song and as far as the 52 bars go yeah they bars and you could you could break them down 52 weeks out of the year each right. bar for the year but they're more heartfelt and it's right. something that you could feel in your heart and it's something that that it gives you the chills and it's just like man i've been through that or i could understand that i could understand where he's coming from bars is just like damn this boy can spit, you feel me? Like, Heart, it's, it's more like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, yo, Legacy, my brother, man, I appreciate you coming through. Much love. Tell me where they can find you at. Well, they can find me at, you, you could go on Instagram, 
and type in The Born Legacy. You know what I'm saying? Just the way it's spelled B O R N. The Born Legacy. You could go on SoundCloud. It's The Born Legacy. If you're going to look me up on YouTube, all you got to do is put dope. Legacy 52 bars. You know, and the channel. Come up. Yeah, the channel itself is Nation on Dope TV because, you know, that's pretty much that's what we fall under Nation right. on Dope. Not dope. But dope, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so, get it right, man. <laughs> you know what I'm but, saying? But uh, let me see, you know, you spit up. And shout, oh, shout outs to my homeboy, Miami. You can definitely check him out too. Miami yeah. 305 with M Y. Uh, I think I met him me? before. Yeah, that's my dog. That's, that's my brother oh, too. You feel me? So we, we we do it big. He does all the videos. Yeah. So oh, yeah, dope videos, by the way, man. You feel me? Right, I gotta right, check right, it out. Right, you know, right, he's, dope shit. he's doing a lot. He's doing a lot for the scene and you know, just just for the culture out here. So. I'm really blessed um, at this point in time. But yeah, you know, um, yeah. Facebook, just look up Joshua Legacy. Legacy. I'll come out. Legacy. I'm the first one yeah. to come out. You know? so, but you know what we like to do here on um, all the tunes, right? All right. We like to take a little CD. Ah, uh, put that in like that. Okay, okay. And, um, you know, find a track when we like to, you know, let, let, let the MC do what they do best. Okay, let me. Uh, it's right. it's one uh, good. Yeah, we live. Auto yo, uh, like it yo, yo, it's Miami 305, an apostle, chilling with my man Bottles, preaching the gospel, yeah, and it's constant elevation, all the way from Genesis to Revelations, auto-tune, no T-Pain, auto-tune, no Drake, no Wayne, why you say that, it's real hip-hop, talking Nasia Jones, Big and Pac, they wanted something to see, catch a glimpse what I've been through, I hope you brought enough film So y'all can document the real truth Shit, I'm the living crew Kept it in sight like interviews uh, I got the inside scoop cut Take one, delete the scenes I slide through It's improv, flip the script You know how I do It's time bomb when I'm live on set Talking top five like the dialogue effect It's me, Legacy Remember me? If you haven't met yet Doubt you'll ever forget me It's the one and only OB1, you know me Skip the cliche, Shinobi and the Death Star with the Teflon Kevlar, oh. heavenly divine, I'm a Jedi Knight's Templar, ah. centaur, horse from the waist down, that's my ask your chick, I lay it down, ah. she throw my weight around and then she wait around, yo, but what she wait around for, ah. for me to come rocking the boat, they can try and buy the water, ain't no top in the flow, yeah. everything they see, sick, too much movement, started trying to make waves to the low tides moved in, they washed up, I make show lines prove it, fuck it, east and west beef, this the coastline stupid south side i represent that bottom couldn't see me at the time because they know i drop them that's inevitable microphones get cold last 40 year olds to put these pussies on a pedestal unacceptable no room for error prepare for warfare but air you out with the metronome this is no man's land you better off two stepping with the slow dance jams but are we jamming no but are we jamming no radio frequencies get jamming no All the tools shining off, broken glass everywhere. Legacy, much love. Uh,